Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Inscription where unfortunately uh, we have uncovered that winning the card game may be not so helpful in resolving our larger situation. That's a shame, I'm great at card games, I'm not necessarily as good at escaping from magic cabins. Not a thing I have a ton of experience with, to be honest with you. Um, so I went back and I watched the, I rewatched part of the last episode because I wanted to make sure that I had interpreted the um, the symbol that we saw on that board correctly. And it turns out I had not remembered it correctly. I had remembered that it was showing us that one of the clock hands had to be set to 11, but there are two clock hands in the symbol. I think it's saying to set the clock to, the clock to 11 o'clock. So let's do that and hope that it does something. Uh, so you're a minute hand, probably. Of these other two hands, which one do I think is the hour hand? The hour hand's usually the shortest one, right? Do you know when the last time I looked at a non-digital clock was? I think this should be right. Okay. It's a ring. Okay. Yep, I can definitely see how this would be useful. Does it fit? I don't know. Does it? Is that it? Is that all the... Okay, well that doesn't do anything except help me at the card game. Which, again, as, as previously mentioned, I feel like that's a solved problem. Still don't know what to do with this, with this um, globe here. The fact that it's interactable makes me feel like it's got to be something, right? We solved these... We still don't know what the deal is with our friend here. Yep, that one, that friend. Watching the angler lose. Now that soothes my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. Okay, cool, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. Uh, we have a knife now, that's a thing. Have we tried just stabbing him? And then of course there's this, right? This is like, all we have to do is just find an item opportunity that gives us a black goat in a jar and we can make this happen trivially. Um, assuming that this board state is actually totally strict and that it it does need to be the case that all of the opponent's spaces are empty, I think the other board states we were given were probably like borderline impossible. It would have been very difficult to produce. Well, I guess the last one we had was a creature that cost bones alongside a squirrel. It would have required the um, the opponent to not play anything on the first turn, though, which is not generally how he gets down. So, yeah, I don't know. This this one feels like the first achievable one to me. And out of curiosity, can I... Nope. <laughs> no no big weapons for me. Uh, rule book. Anything new in the old rule book? Because I feel like a thing that... A thing that feels like it should be very significant just happened, but, like... Not as much changed as I was maybe expecting. You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, is it a, is it a more intense version of the pliers? That seems not ideal. So we need items. We need to find an item space. If we're going to reproduce this thing. Or I guess I could... Maybe we could just be given a black goat? We've never seen one before, and I have to imagine picking a card via tribe is not going to work, right? Because I don't think the black goat has a tribe on it. No, it totally does. Right, a goat. There's an antlers tribe, sure. <sighs> You're wondering about that painting? Did we unlock the hint system? Is that what's happening here? I've seen stuff come out of it. But only if the cards are aligned just right. Yeah, the problem here was not... <laughs> was not me figuring out what needed to happen so much as it was being able to do it. Okay, well, I guess let's go this way and uh, and pick Antler if it's offered to us, and maybe we can uh, maybe we can do this another way. Also, Elk is just like a good card. Perfectly happy to have an Elk on hand. The, um, the symbol after the fight here, I'm not sure that we've seen that before. Okay, the woodcarver's here. Is she offering me elk? She is offering me elk. 
Let's take that for right now. We'll get a we'll get a functional totem going at some point here. Ah, items. Okay, so we definitely we need to expend. Are you even more distorted looking than you were before? He's turning into a tree or something. Uh, the stink bug is also okay. Some some doings is transpiring here, and I don't really know what to make of it. Uh, let's squirrel into yeah, squirrel into stoat across from you. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have just gone squirrel, squirrel into the elk. But the elk would move at the... Well, I mean, I could have just played it here. I'm just trying to think, like... We want to free up as many spaces as possible here, right? So I guess I want to use all of my items. We're gonna... We're gonna... Yeah, yeah we're gonna press this because I need to get a black goat. Yep, I mean, we knew it wasn't going to be good. Oh, I guess I just win. At some significant cost. It's hard for me to believe... Okay, <laughs> maybe this is the wrong thing to be focusing on in this moment. It's hard for me to believe that an eyeball weighs as much as four teeth. They're just, you know, an eyeball's just very squishy. We're going to totally waste this hook just to get our items clear, because we need to be able to pull as many times as possible on the old item thing. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Is that... okay. Well... That one looks good. That one looks very magic. This one looks like it belonged to a goat. Hard to know what to make of that, but this one looks very magic. Let's put that in my face. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Maybe maybe the ring does more than we thought, or maybe there's more stuff to do with the clock. Regardless, the choice is final. Just a, can you give me a second? Hmm, okay. Well, that's pretty easy to, that's pretty easy to read, she said, immediately screwing it up. The Stunted Wolf. Take the film roll before... Oh, film roll? Yes, that would be very good for us to have. What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. I uh, will do that in just, just a moment. Hi, I'm facing you. Are we good? We're cool? Okay. Because the thing is, I see another thing over here. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's actually meaningful. Okay, Magic Eye turns out to be high value. Keep sealed. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Focus achieved. Hello. So now, now if we, whether we win or lose, well, I guess we don't know for sure. But the next time we get a hold of the camera, there's a chance we'll be able to take a picture of him, um, which might actually solve, solve our sort of larger problem here. Oh, hey, it's the Prospector. You come across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. He caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I like me a gamble. If and you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Do I want gold? Does it even do anything? Well, I mean, okay. This one? Well, I did. Oh, a golden pelt. That's not how boulders work. I can barely abide giving it to ye, but a promise is a promise where I'm from. Yeah, I feel like you're a real straight shooter. Okay, that's... that's fun. Uh, so, items. I need a black goat in a bottle. Yes! Alright. Um, now... Oh, you know what? We're gonna need a squirrel in a bottle too, though, right? Because I'm gonna have to play black goat... Yeah, we're not we're not actually safe yet. Um 
I don't know of these, I suppose. Give me... We don't have anything that costs bones in our deck except for the stink bug right now, so... Okay, cool. Now we're... Now we're solid. Next time we get in a fight, we can, we can totally make the thing happen. Alright, Bird's Ink. I ought to thank you. How's it been? Uh, it's been quite bad. I I'm trapped. Trapped in the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. Alright, you just hold on just one second there. Oh no, I can't get up right now. It's the black goat on the left and the squirrel on the right. Right? Okay, my memory is so bad, and I'm so sure we need to get this right, that y'all are going to hold on for a second, and I'm going to go look at the footage. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> you might be saying, hey, SB, it seems like if your memory is actually that bad, it would be a huge impediment and cause massive problems in your day-to-day uh, -day life. And, and yes, that's true. <laughs> that's true, it does do that. Uh, okay, so black goat all the way on the left, squirrel all the way on the right. So I need this... And this, we play squirrel all the way on the right, and then we play another squirrel to sacrifice for this. Yep, okay, a thing, a, a sound has occurred. So you got flyers, I got this black goat, which is definitely... Oh, I guess I don't need to, the stunted wolf is only two, or is only one. I mean, one for a two-two is like actually very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stunted wolf right here, and it can it can eat some birds. Uh, and then I'm gonna hold the black goat. We'll we'll burn it next turn for something something larger because we don't get to we don't get to spread the blood out over multiple summons, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, they turned, they turned. I was not prepared for God. Bloody hell. Okay, well, this is a problem. And it feels like it would really be a waste to use the black goat to summon one of these. You know, it kind of doesn't matter if we lose this battle or not. Um, here, y'all just keep it even for a second. Try this again. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times uh, to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. You know, the way um, the way the stink bug worded things last time, I thought it meant the stoat was a stunted wolf. It was like, is the stoat around the stunted wolf? And I was like, well, that's kind of a mean way to describe it, but I get it. All right. That's still a reasonable play, and we're just going to... Yeah. Tick, tick, tick. Show me a thing that costs two. Okay, there we go. Something where I don't feel like it's a waste to use my goat. Uh, and then we'll just draw a squirrel from here on. And I mean, I think we've, at this point, I think we pretty much... Lesson our opponent plays something pretty serious. Yeah, damn straight. Can we actually see... It's still not really clear to me what it is. It's got like berries on it. If the lighting was not red, it would probably help. Uh, well, in this situation... What? I'm going to kill this. I'm going to get you for four. It's going to set you here. I would get a lot of extra teeth if I go the other way. I'm doing it. We're going to... I'm not accepting surrender here. Plus, look. All three of our talking friends are on the table. That might be something, right? a lot of teeth. Alright, hold on just a moment. Well now, I don't exactly know what to make of that. Uh, 
Um, it's not really a lot of free shelf space around here. Can I put it down like over here? I can't believe I didn't see these boxes under there before. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Is Maybe it's an item I can use in the... Um, I mean, it basically has to be an item that we use at the table, right? Because I don't have anything else to... Oh, no. I can put it down here. Huh. Well, okay. Did that. <laughs> and now I guess it's just we, we play until we, um, until we win or lose, right? And to be perfectly honest with you, I think maybe on this next battle we just tank on purpose. Show me what some threes look like. Okay, moose box, sure. Alright, the woodcarver offers us... Um... None of these are awesome. I guess the black goat is kind of fun with this. Do I have the right... I think I have the right symbol on the black coat. Yeah, uh, let's do that. I'm breaking this just to make sure. Yes, okay, it is the right thing. So, like, that's pretty cool, right? squirrel into black goat into elk and then get my black goat back that's fun but I'm gonna I'm gonna tank this battle oh yeah give me another squirrel or whatever I just want to get to the part with the camera I have so many teeth for you, friend. Trapping business been lagging. After being defeated by that challenger. Well, I'm thinking of clearing me inventory, trying something else. Pelts are cheaper now. Oh. Wow, pelts are way cheaper now. Okay. <laughs> My deck is unusable garbage. Hey, it's the campfire. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power, said one. You know, I know the deal. Um, who would be a good call here? I mean, we can just make you a non-stunted wolf. That seems good. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your no longer stunted wolf. You passed a massive empty bowl surrounded by heaps of unidentifiable giblets and scantlings. It seemed the bowl was designed for a dog. But what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Uh, I'm so sick of this boss. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so that's an interesting question given that a dog ball full of unidentifiable garbage kind of is what we saw when we, when we won, right? That was our prize? That's a weird... Huh. All right, like I said, we're we're scooping out here, and I don't I don't have a way of doing it other than just hitting end turn a bunch. Gosh, I hope this film reel works the way I think it is going to. More 
gold for me. Yeah, yeah. But what if the tables were to suddenly turn in some way? Please tell me the camera's over here. Uh, choose a card to draw the cost from. How about free? A cost of free from the rabbit belt. Uh, it's a free 3-2. With... Hmm. That's actually interesting. Like, I don't know that you want a 3-2 to have flying block. Right? It's almost certainly better for it to not get in front of the flying creature that's across from it and then just kill it. So, these movement things are going to make it, like, weird and unreliable. So I'm going to take this one. A sigil of hefty. Um, this, th my name is Hefty Wolf, obviously. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. And by death, you mean camera. Oh, no, damn. This time he has the camera. Shoot, last time we lost... He, I had to hand him the camera. Uh, I'm not ready. No. Hmm. Maybe we have to win again? Well, if we have to win again, it'll be easier to do so having the dagger and the hook back. Did I tell you the tale of the one who came before you? They fell to a mad prospector. Nothing comes between that man and his gold. Yeah, no, I know. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. That foul, stunted wolf. You really want such a creature in your deck. The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt. So it stands. So the stout's turning into some kind of machinery. I, I would say computer. I mean, it, it looks like it looks like one of those old tiger handhelds, but it has a crank on the side. Oh, there's a thing like that now, isn't there? There's one of, one of these was made recently. It's called shoot, I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, so somebody made a weird little gaming handheld handheld that has a crank. Stinkbug seems to be turning into a person, like a human. A person's pretty harsh. You were a person before, sweetie. But now you're turning into a human, and I don't know what is going on with this wolf. Very curious. Very curious stuff. Okay. So yeah, maybe I have to win. This is still open. Which is interesting. Can I... Ah, you've plucked that from the oil painting. You must not like the cards that I deal you. Fine. Wait. What is that? Huh. I don't know, but it did... It did take the thing, and it didn't put it over here. Okay. So I need to somehow get a hold of the camera. And the way we got a hold of the camera last time is not doing it. Okay, maybe we got to win a run. Oh, interesting. The tenacious skink. It moves over when attacked, leaving its tail behind. Um, the skink is definitely cool. Cat is so good, though. It's really hard to turn down cat. Um, and I guess let's start getting... Let's start getting our tribe stuff set up. So, what do we have here? What's compelling? Um, we could try to do a bug run. I feel like we don't know that many bug cards, but... Getting to put some sigils on, like, corpse maggots or, um, a mantis or something could be very powerful. I don't love any of either of these sigils. So let's do that. the film roll, is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. Okay, we do have to win. We do have to win a run. Well, that's a shame. That's more difficult. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I 
forgot how the game works, apparently. Uh, so these coyotes are a real pain. There's not even really a reason to play, um, to play this bullfrog. Next turn, the bullfrog will be fine. So I think we're just going to draw from the big deck here. Okay, get ourselves a stoat. I would rather have the stoat. Do it, friends. <laughs> yes, thank you. I was very proud of it. So we no longer have any wolves in the default deck. All of the all of the the wolves in the river snapper have been replaced with other things. So we do need to try to pick up some higher value cards. Ever since that defeat, well, you don't want to hear it. Cheaper prices, enjoy. I don't have any teeth, sadly. All right, I will just take the one. Yeah, stupid me and my exactsies. Um, so I didn't... Maybe I should have popped the squirrel out just to try to get a better item from here. But it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll complete a totem. Alright. Insects become... Ant spawners. Well, that seems good. Granted, we only have one one card that this is going to apply to right now, but we meet again. Yeah, no, I know that's how the game works. Okay. So pronghorn. Ooh, pronghorn's a good card. That's that card is too good in my opinion. Uh, stunted wolf. So we don't actually know which direction he's going to move. It seems like the arrow flips at random. Oh, wait. I For some reason, I thought I was going to end up with a second bone. Well, whatever. Well, the, cat, the cat doesn't actually die, so it doesn't produce a bone, right? My plan was to use the bones from the cat and the squirrel to also play stink bug here, so when the, prong, the pronghorn comes down, it doesn't do any damage. But, uh... Did not think that through all the way. It's fine. Yeah, my bone my bone production actually is not good. That said, more more stuff on the table, probably the right way to go. Uh so Yeah, you're gonna take a point of damage here, but you, you and you and your buddy are gonna get rid of this pronghorn for me. I did do this in a way that's going to end up killing our our poor wolf, though. Or no, it's my turn now. Yeah, we get we get that kill. The elk fawn comes down and does actually finish the wolf, which is a real shame. Ugh, rabbit pelts like a pretty bad draw. Okay, we're gonna be fine. There's my... Nope. There's my bullfrog. Alright, who needs teeth, right? Possum, coyote, elk. Okay. Um. Do I want to redraw looking for insects? I think I do. Give me, give me some gas for my engine here. Well... No such luck, but I will say these cards are a lot better. Do I want to just... I kind of want to just take the Pronghorn, honestly. Seems like a really good card. And having a reason to do a second sacrifice is going to help me get a second bone. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. That seems fun. So I already have full items. Do we know what happens? I guess I don't know if anything happens. It probably just wastes it. If we go to this other thing, we're going to end up, like, sacrificing our bullfrog to put its sigil on the stoat or something. Which is fine, I guess. 
Yeah, honestly, I don't hate that. I'm kind of curious what happens. Let's find out. The other change is not very significant. So does it just do nothing? You can't take more than three items. And you have three. Okay, I'm, I can see this is challenging for you. I'm just going to give you a minute to work it out. Hmm, instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Oh, oh your friend's an adorable rat. The card bearing the sigil is played to receive a... Oh my god, hey, that's a great card! The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Hell yeah, free rats! Also, we're gonna have so many items this run. Okay. So. Pair of one-twos. Uh, let's... Stunted Wolf... Uh, alas! Uh, do I want to fire my squirrel in a bottle now just to get us to a place where I am... where I have an empty slot open for when, when we play the pack rat in the hopes that we draw something a little bit more compelling? I kind of think so. So we're gonna bullfrog... here and stink bug here. Doing so is going to produce for me a worker ant who will get us who will get us rolling on the infinite ants train. Okay. Uh, give me a squirrel so that I may play an ant. Hooray! Hooray, bugs! Uh, and then... I also want to play an ant. And then I also want to play an ant. And then I feel like I should definitely play an ant, right? <laughs> okay. There you go, that's how teeth work. Here's my question, what if ant? <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to go over here in the hopes of getting another get another insect or another bug. I'm allowed to use this every time we're drawn we're dealt cards out, not just once per run. That seems, ooh, love it, love it. What a good draw! All right, uh, who's going in the in the thing? I don't necessarily. Hmm. I kind of think we might, kind of think I might, I hate to do this, but I think we might be dropping the pack rat. Because I want to put that sigil on something that costs one and a two cost two two is not really that impressive. I apologize for this. This is a game where dark evil things happen. I want you all to understand that under any, under any other circumstance, I would never harm a rat. <laughs> but like, we can give this to the stoat, right? Or even the wolf. Probably the wolf. Yeah. Just put this on something that we're going to play more often. Because, like, items are pretty good, yeah? Alright. Gotta actually win a run. The trees closed in tight around you creating an impenetrable brush. The only way out was forward, and the hobbled shape of a man stood in that way. Yeah, okay. I sure hope I don't have any gold in my skull, but if I do, it's definitely not for you. Okay, so... Am I allowed to sacrifice the greater smoke? Smoke doesn't have blood in it, I assume not. But if I can... Oh, I totally can. Okay, well that seems like a very good thing to do then. Right? Because we should just... 
we should just get to ant strats as fast as possible. Well, hmm. Because you're going to make the coyote a 1-1, one, one, then survive it, and then... Maybe I don't want to... No, hold on. I want to undo. Well, I can just... I can burn this squirrel, though. Yeah, I think I, think I actually do want to keep... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is lethal. Then we let him blow up our board. We draw a squirrel, and we... Amp yeah, okay. This is fine. I'll take this. True, my ants are full of gold somehow. Alright. So we want to pull some squirrels to get our, our whole deal running again in a moment here, as soon as, you know, get them. Uh, okay. Now, a squirrel alone is not going to kill this thing. So we may want to wait a second. Or I might just want to snatch it. We should probably try to save that for later. Ooh, corpse maggots are interesting, though. So if I play the ant, we get one damage across. Bloodhound kills the ant, and it puts another ant in my hand. Then Bulldog comes across, kills the ant. Corpse maggots go down. Corpse maggots deal another damage to it. We may as well, right? My hand's gonna be full of worker ants here. And at some point we could like pronghorn or something if we really want, I suppose. Uh so I think I wanna be pulling squirrels. We need we need things to feed to the ant engine for the moment. Okay. Squirrel. Means squirrel, squirrel, ant, ant. Okay. Situation's feeling pretty under control <laughs> at the moment. Squirrels for the ant engine. Feeling like moderately, moderately on point here with this strap. Perhaps one of these will entice me. Perhaps one of them is the mantis god. Oh, strange larva. I do, I do love a long elk. Very hard to turn down the mothman. Especially when the mothman's gonna give us an ant. Like, what a great card. Free of the prospector's unhinged gaze, you looked ahead. Although I will say, um, managing to get a card that has Death Touch on it, probably uh, a good idea. Just a thing to have for the final confrontation. A moment. Do we know, are there bugs that have Death, death Touch? Hmm. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached... The wetlands. And there you had been awarded a card. Hooray. Adder, oh. Oh, sweet Samhain, you are untyped, but still so very good. <laughs> right, I can't turn this down. Then again, the Adder, I was just saying it would be cool to have a death touch card for later. Someone's gonna, like, fuck the moon up pretty bad too, though. <laughs> Having six points of health and everything. I'm gonna... Yeah. Not on gimmick, but still very good, I think. So this will let me probably just remove a card from my deck, I assume. Who would be... I mean, the stoat at this point. Yeah, the stoat's just sort of a dead card. Honestly, the bullfrog ain't great either. 
Um, I don't know that I really, I don't know that there's anything we're going to get out of this that I want more than what I have. And we have ways of getting a third item already. Now, I'm going to go this way because this gives me a choice. Whereas I think the, okay. <laughs> I think the way the pack rat thing was worded, it seemed like I was just going to get an item, right? It was just going to hand me something. Let me, let me see. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, yeah, we'll receive a random item. So getting an item from the board is still better. Oh, you're doing bug strats. I don't like it. I wanted to be the one who's doing bug strats. A squirrel for strange larva across from the ringworm who hopefully will not do anything terrifying. And then Next turn, it's squirrel into ant and stink bug, and things go. Things go off the rails a tiny bit. All right. So. I want to play the stink bug here, because this thing's going to become 2-2. Two, two. So yeah, worker ant can just, I guess you could just go right here. Well, you're going to die if I do that. I want to build up my, build up my supply a little bit here. And the stink bug really just goes in either position, it doesn't matter which. Okay. Bad news, I have a Mothman. Do I do believe that's game. You know, Mothman gets it done is the talk. Um, yeah. See, now my reputation is no longer talk, is solid. <laughs> Show me something cool. Okay. Corpse maggots, absolutely fine. Uh, fire or wood carver? I mean, we don't need wood carver, right? This is maybe a little risky. Something bad's gonna happen eventually, right? I mean, maybe it's just flavor text. Yeah, I probably shouldn't put it past this game for it to just be flavor text. Okay, so here, like, the pronghorn and Samhain are the two obvious answers, right? The pronghorn with bonus power is going to be very, very good, but it's such a weird, unpredictable creature. I think I'm going to throw it on Sa Samhain. Fingers crossed that you do not get at. You had an idea. Why not warm your creature by the fire for just a moment longer? One of the starving survivors took a step closer. This would be risky. Um, uh... I'm gonna pull back. 3-6 is good enough. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your Samhain in tow, you retreated into the woods. Yeah. Right, that can't possibly go well. Okay, free corpse maggots. Hooray! So the corpse maggots only fire if a creature dies in combat? Yeah. Uh, so I think we just play a squirrel into the path of one of these ants, right? Boy, this is going to get, like, pretty live pretty fast, huh? Uh, am I going to be able to hold out here? Because they're going to be on three worker ants with three power each. I may have to, um, I may have to item for this. Okay, let's, let's grab a squirrel. I'm thinking I may have to hook 
this ant. So let's see, I'm gonna do one damage over here. But I get I get ant, then I burn squirrel and play ant here. I don't want to play across from that one. That way I only get attacked for two. No, no, I'm gonna get attacked for three that way. That's still lethal. Huh. How do I survive? I'll tell you, pronghorn with bonus damage would be real good. Well, the rapid pelt's free and it has health. It probably doesn't come out of my deck when it dies. Like, I just probably just play this rabbit pelt. I think we, I think we do actually have to do this though. And then we go squirrel into worker ant because these worker ants need to have some power. Oh, well, I guess another another version of this where I don't play the rabbit pelt involves me playing, I sacrifice corpse maggots, play worker ant here, and that way, that way they only have one ant, so this, yeah, so I take non-lethal damage. That's probably better. Yeah. Uh, it turns out worker ant is pretty okay. Although looking at this now, I am kind of wondering, could I have just one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I don't think so. I could have gotten six damage across, not seven. Also, I forgot about overflow damage. Um, that's a real thing. Okay, well, I feel like the right play pretty much has to be this. It's a mighty bowl of teeth you got there. Ooh, mycologists. The rat king, the tragic rat king. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. That's not a very good card. Why does that cost two? These cards are butt, and I would like a different one, please. Hmm, I don't recall making that one. What are you? So its power is equal to the number of times you've rung the bell this combat, maybe? That's interesting. But Ringworm is a one-cost bug, so I can play it, get a get a worker ant, and then sacrifice it to play that worker ant. This this is just a worker ant in my deck, which is the call. I was really hoping to get a second of something before we had the opportunity to meet the mycologists. We do have an empty item space here, so probably I should go this way. Um interesting goat I think pair of one twos uh, well this gets me on the worker ant train feels like that's got to be the right move And then I want to I want to play this worker ant here, right? Because I, I don't want to play anything across until I uh, until it's gonna have two power. Okay. Coyote is inconvenient. Uh. Yeah, this is fine though. I can just keep doing this, uh, nope. I can just keep doing this for some time. And just like sort of wear them down. Yep, 
Okay. Do this so I get me a tooth. It turns out infinite cards is pretty good. Um, so... Cards that cost bones would be really good for us right now. Can you please show me bones? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, and then woodcarver. What do you got for me? Oh. That's interesting. Um, I can't imagine really wanting to trade out what we're doing here. I think in this game, flying is a little... It can be very powerful, but it's also counterproductive sometimes. Because you, once your creatures all have flying, you, you have very, very limited control of what's on the other person's side of the table. I don't anticipate us changing our totem out anyway, so it's probably sort of an academic choice. Alright. The angler. Remember we got that eyeball thing? Uh, yep. Massive man tearing chunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up. And some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. Gross. I do. I do, in fact, bring fresh fish. Okay, cool. Wow, cool. Lots of good draws here. Lots of really, really solid stuff. Um, let's make sure that we establish Samhain nice and early. And across from this kingfisher where she's, like, perfectly safe. Or do I want to put her somewhere else because she'll block better somewhere else? She does have six health. Yeah, let's put her somewhere else. She can probably get in the way of whatever's going on. And um, I think the greater smoke goes somewhere else for the same reason. And for right now, we'll just leave them like that. We'll draw from this deck next turn. Oh no, sorry, we want to draw a squirrel next turn, right? Yeah. Die already. Okay. Yep, so the chum bucket's gonna create... Well, it doesn't have to create anything. We can just avoid it. So I want one of these. That's actually pretty awkward. I wanted to draw a card that costs blood. Um, yeah, that's a problem. I could pull my black goat. I'm going to do that. We'll just put the goat down here. Because this is like a controlled situation, <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Salen. All right. Once you once you have a grasp of the gimmicks, um, these bosses are not they're not that bad. Uh, a Gek, an Ouroboros, or oh, Mantis God. Yeah, always big Mantis God. Absolutely. The angler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. Let me see. I mean, we both know where this is going. Come on. Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to a vantage point. The snow-covered trees jutted from the landscape like prickly, misplaced teeth continued on through the snow line. So, 
with a mantis god, I do wonder if I want to, um, sigils is pretty good for us, right? Uh, but you have to have three sigils. That is tough. Five bones would require us to pull a, a corpse maggot or bat plus stink bug. Present overall six health is... I think that's our best shot, but honestly, I don't think any of these are very good for us. Samhain auto-completes the six health one. Yeah, let's go for that. I think we're going to fail, though. Never mind. Well. Yo, cockroach with corpse eater. That's, um, that's a hell of a thing. So, this, when it perishes in any way, it comes back to your hands. So you can just sacrifice this cockroach and then it'll come back when something dies for you to sacrifice it again. That feels like an extremely useful engine. As much as I love Stinky Mantis, and I do, I do love Stinky Mantis, I think we gotta go this way. Uh, and let's go replenish our lost item. We just are not drawing that wolf. Hmm. Yeah. If we get into the ant zone, giving all our ants flying for a turn is gonna gonna end the battle. So it seems seems all right. Okay, spiked elk could be a problem. Elk deck is just tough times. It's very very strong these elk. Uh. Yeah, okay, this is not so bad. So, squirrel. Oh, sorry, yeah, stunted wolf. So, I'm not going to get an item here. First time we actually get to play our <laughs> stunted wolf. Yeah, I need to... I need to draw... We're, we're in kind of a weird place with the bones at the moment. Need to draw a little bit differently. So. Now I can... Bullfrog into Stink Bug and take out two of these elk. Which is something. The bullfrog also dies, which is not like, obviously, it's not amazing. Um, stink bug here, you're actually like really, really great. And then I guess the question is, do I burn bullfrog for worker ant? And the answer is yes, of course. Yeah. Why would I ever want a bullfrog when I could have a worker ant? It's not going to be much of a difference here, but it, you know, gets us to Ant Town. Yep. Take that one across the face. And then at this point, I really do just want to go to Ant Town, right? So I need a squirrel to, to give me a little bit of a push. So clear you, get you down to two health. Corpse maggots, more worker ants. Yeah, this is good. Yep, and then... Squirrels keep us anti. What is that even? Okay. Improvisational banter. More difficult than you think. I should probably have done that last turn, actually. Teeth. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> Surrender your teeth to me. So, remove a card's probably good. We don't need this. Yeah. Uh, my pelt singular is clean. Um, nothing that is on topic here, but I do like elk fawn and wolf cub. Alpha is going to just be worse than another ant. Like in a situation where I need to play bone, where I have like bone creatures to play, I have bugs for that. Uh, I really do think this is just Wolf Club versus Elk Fawn because we don't want to put a lot of two-cost stuff in our deck. And I think I like Elk Fawn a little bit better. Neither one of them is, like, awesome for our, for our thing, though. And there's a non-zero chance that we just <laughs> remove them from the deck here. You come across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Somebody's gonna... Who's just kind of crapping up my deck right now? Is it Bullfrog? It's like Bullfrog and Skink. Bullfrog has some utility. Sometimes they have like a three power flyer and you just need to have it not do anything for a turn. Ringworm is an ant and that's good enough. Um, I think it is, in fact... Sorry, buddy. You're turning into some kind of weird robot anyway. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Bad play. You callously slaughtered the stoat. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. And so I received... A minor boon of the Bone Lord. Oh, actually, 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 that's awesome. We are one bone short of, of getting our plan going a lot. That's really, really good. Man, they reward you for removing cards from your deck, huh? What a... What a situation. Okay, so... We're on the ant plan already. Okay, we got, got ourselves a turkey vulture. Concerns... Uh, so ringworm me into an ant uh, and then next turn we draw squirrel yeah should be fine well actually sorry I need to do I need to get you pumped twice or I'm gonna die well, not necessarily. Yeah, if I just... Oh, but, but I can't get any damage across, because mole. There's nothing I can do that will get damage past that mole. Hmm. Concern, actually. Do I have to use my, my flying thing already just to get some damage over? Just so that I can... I think I do. Uh, we're going to take four damage next turn, so in order to survive, I have to establish at least two points of damage myself, which I can do. Yeah. We're okay. Right, because we make our creatures flying. I undo the damage that he's about to do. We eat this. And then this turn, I play Worker Ant, and our Worker Ants actually clear the table. Yep, pretty alright. How dare you. I saw that tooth just vanish into the darkness, so I assume we have hit the tooth cap. You 
won't find cheaper pelts within a hundred miles. The thing is, I could buy a lot of pelts here. But I don't know how many pelts I actually want. Like, obviously, pelts are pretty garbage. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Are we going to have a chance to trade these in? Like, we're probably not, right? Because the boss... Uh, there's there's value in having pelts in your deck when fighting the boss. We know that. But also, crapping up my draws is bad. I don't think I'm going to take anything. I think I'm going to take the rabbit pelt I'm forced to take. But I don't want pelts right now. Even though I have all these teeth. Uh, so I spent an item. Let's go get an item. Yeah, this seems right. Um, uh, hmm. Not awesome. Not my favorite. Frozen possum's interesting. Sometimes a point of damage is, like, exactly what you need. Bones are rarely a problem for us anymore, so it is between these two. And I do think they're both just kind of not good. Might be able to make something happen with that. Alright, spiky birds. Spiky birds is, is a little scary, but we'll figure it out. Okay, squirrel makes cat, which makes shenanigans more... Boy. Yeah, what a draw. Um... Turkey Vulture on the first turn feels like a war crime. And you're not even going to kill anything, so I can't use Corpse Maggots. I wish I'd taken the, um, the Bone Bank. We might just lose this battle. That might happen. Okay. Here we lose. Alright, well, you're allowed to lose one. I didn't take extra pelts specifically so that we would not crap up our draws, and then they crapped up my draws anyway. <laughs> Show me stuff that costs one. Yeesh. There's a certain point at which, like, it is possible to have too many bones in your deck, and I think we're there already. So I guess I'm going to take this. Okay. They really wanted me to have that card. They were not going to take no for an answer. So... Um, power up on Mantis God be kind of bananas but also I kind of want to lower the number of cards in my deck there's kind of a lot of weird garbage going on now so like what if we what am I trying to do here what am I trying to be rid of pelt mostly yeah um you know the Corpse Maggots are kind of awkward to play on their own. If we could move the Corpse Maggot Sigil onto, like, the Mantis God or something, that would be pretty sick. Okay. Yes, it will let me do it on the Mantis God. Right, just force Mantis God into play for free. I mean, it's nice to have it on a thing that has high cost like that. Um, so maybe it's, uh, maybe, maybe it gets me my pronghorn instead, or like this dude. But the thing is, we want bug in play. Like, yeah. The trapper sat hunched beside one of his traps, slowly cranking it open. 
He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but left the trap unhinged. My dude, I'm not here to yuck anybody's yum, but I don't, th I don't think you're cranking it right. You shouldn't have come here. Yeah, yeah. That's what everybody says. Okay. So obviously we're gonna need to feed some ants to some traps. That's the situation on the table right now. Do I want to throw out my possum as a blocker just to buy me some space? Because I do need to like kind of carefully control how much damage I'm taking. And then we're going to get pelts and... Yeah, let's let's do it. Maybe this is wrong. I don't know. It doesn't feel wrong. Um, here. Sorry, this is just about patience. Okay, so squirrel here into worker ants. Now, we saw in the past that we don't get overflow the way we would like on this, right? Like, the, the worker ant will be killed by the trap and there will be no overflow, which is a shame. But I think it's still right to just go ahead and do this thing. Then we're going to get our corpse maggots out and, yeah. It does feel like that damage should overflow, though, doesn't it? Oh, no, it did. Okay. I probably thought it didn't last time because of the long delay between... Yeah, no, that's all right. All right, and there's me pelts for the next time. Uh, so I need... What do I want? Do I want to draw a squirrel? I probably just want to sacrifice the corpse maggots to keep the ant thing running. So actually, I think I want to draw here. Ooh. Well, that's the move, then, I believe. I can take a hit from the... Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Because I'm going to do a bunch of damage here, right? So... I just pass because again there's like a lot of ways in which this is patience and so we're going to take a squirrel so we can ant up after the weird trade over so this is going to be some damage yeah for the moment we're just trading I kind of want one more creature to die right we don't get a pelt for that I probably only get a pelt for things dying to the trap would be my guess. I'm just going to turn that possum into a worker ant, I think. I don't want to kill him just yet. But, okay, that won't. That won't. It'll be fine. I guess draw me squirrel? I don't really know what I'm looking for here. I, what I'm looking for is ants, right? Yeah, so I want to hurry up and turn this into a trap. You remove my ant, and then I guess draw from here. There's no way I need more than two squirrels in my deck, right? Or in my hand, right? Then I think I sacrifice this ant to play an ant here, because I don't want him to die before we blow up the fourth trap. we want to have the fourth pelt for the trade phase. And now we now we just do it, right? Now we get now we get Antipalooza. Ah, I 
is the end of my turn. True story. Let's trade. Yeah, I'll trade. Uh, so, what are you not allowed to have? I would not very much like you to have this turkey vulture, or this grizzly, or this great white, or this moose buck. And I actually have another pelt. So... The adder's not going to turn into anything I care about tremendously. This isn't a big problem. It's probably the bloodhound, actually. The bloodhound in this position is really annoying. And this elk's going to do some work, but we'll get through it. Is there a hand size limit? Uh, unfortunately, I cannot, I cannot clear this thing from the table. <laughs> so... I guess he just had to end turn. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna... Perhaps surprising no one, I'm gonna play an ant. Hey, would you look at that? Turns out, ant strats. Oh, it refills your, your law, even if you actually did lose the candle. It refills it after the boss. Okay. I don't know. You got a mantis god for me? An amoeba. The amorphous amoeba. Its sigils are ever-changing. And that filthy feral hog. It becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. <laughs> Does this make chimes? Zero power, one health, and then... <laughs> What a fun card. Well, I gotta tell you, a card that only costs two bones I think is actually pretty compelling. I'll take that. I don't think we want more two blood cards. The mystery of the trapper and trader occupied your thoughts as you wandered onward. A light in the distance caught your eye. Was it some kind of cabin, perhaps? I have an empty item slot, right? Let's fix that. Winner. All right, I feel like I feel like dagger scissors uh, hourglass is a pretty good set of items to be approaching the final confrontation with. The warm light of the cabin cut through the thick fog. Surely your tribulations ended here. Shut up, surely. I do feel like our deck's pretty good here. I don't know the I don't know the where as well set up against like the moon and stuff as we were last time. So I'm assuming we're just going to go right to it. A rare opportunity arose. The great boons of Leshy's Woods were on offer. Uh, okay, not a winner. Three cards must include a rare. Must include a sprinter. Okay. None of these were great for us, I think. Okay. Strange larvas are rare. Do I get do I get the same boons as last time? No. Interesting. Start with a black goat, draw twice, or yeah, I mean draw twice is the best boon. Yep, okay, hooray, the trial of the ring. <laughs> Must include a pelt. That's neat. Uh, I have a ring, it turns out. Oh, you are wearing a fine ring. You pass, of course. Haha. -ha. Uh, so start with a black goat, start with the trees, or magpie's eye. Legitimately interesting. I guess it's magpie's eye. Um, black goat as a just like a get started faster move is is definitely compelling though, and this the early part of this I remember being very difficult. That said, we have a lot of good items this time. We can cheat super hard. Um, and this is only a benefit one time, where this is a benefit forever. I'll take this. I'll take this. All right, let's do it. You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. 
You have been a worthy adversary. But unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. Yeah, we'll see. I'm feeling confident-ish. Drawing whatever two cards I want every turn should do it, right? That should be good enough. You're back. Sit. Well, looks like I'll have to beat him again. It does look like that. Thank you, a other person from a different reality. Oh, how I relish this moment. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if it's enough. You know, here's a thing I didn't think of last time. Ooh, early mantis god. Pretty scary, actually. I wonder if... I wonder if the, the, um, the character actions he takes are random, or if I can pick which thing he's going to do by timing the mask. It's an interesting idea. Um, so I would love to draw a thing that has a blood cost. That would be fun. Oh, right. No, sorry. Yeah, it's the first turn of the game. I remember how this works. Who says I don't? Um, well, I just put down my greater smoke. And it keeps the mole man in place for a while. And I'm going to ring the bell when the fisherman's face is up here just to see. I think that's definitely the least threatening of them. Nope, okay. I do not get I do not get to control on that level. Um Let's grab ringworm as a way of producing ants and then You know, it just struck me this might be very good against the moon. We might want to hold off on that. So let's... Let's stick the amoeba early on. Okay, it's not a great sigil. Um, so... We're going to get some corpse maggots and stuff here. Well, actually, I don't know if we are. If I play something... All right, let's go squirrel, ringworm, and then worker ant there. Right, this is gonna move the mole man over to block the amalgam. The mantis god will come down, it won't kill anything, and then we'll kill it. And I want it to kill my greater smoke. I think I'm cool with things as they are. Again, this this one's like a... It's a marathon, not a sprint, right? I guess the Mantis God kills the cockroach, but also, like, who cares? Oh! The, <laughs> the cockroach comes back and then replaces its own death. Not how I understood that to uh, to work. Okay, weird. So I need to get some uh, damage. It is squirrel. Squirrel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sufficient, right? I don't need to play any harder than this to get to the next phase. Okay. The moon-soaked forest bed gave rise to shadowy figures. 
gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Ah, yes. I remember that one. Oh, no, it's Reginald. No one could stop Reginald. <laughs> We're all doomed. Uh, at this point, I would love to get my stink bug. We're not going to play him yet, but I want him. And... The Mantis God? Huh. Mantis God, why do you have the all-seeing eye on you? Hmm. Maybe we should take the Mantis God into hand. Well, I don't want the, the Mantis God to hit the table at a weird time, though. Let's just... Oh, Strange Larva, what am I doing? Of course. Do I Strange Larva right now? If I destroy this stump, Reginald's gonna come down, he's gonna kill whatever's in this space, but, like, whatever. I think I do. I think I Strange Larva in, in this space at this time. That prevents me from having four worker ants, but I don't think it's a problem. Oh. Well, that's the freshest fish. Yeah, take new fish. Easy. I'm gonna get a squirrel. We should have a squirrel. And then, like... This thing? And I don't do anything here. Do you think the scissors work on the moon? They probably don't have to, right? What if I... If I do just sacrifice the cockroach and I play another worker ant and I just time walk him? Because that clears Reginald. Yeah, let's just win, right? Like, that's, that's one of the many ways of just win that is on this board. I'm just like, I'm trying to preserve enough resources to be in a scary place after this. But also... I don't know that I need to be so worried. Yeah, you pass. I have a Mothman. Uh, and then I take, I don't know, some good cards or something. Mantis God and um, you, because a new item would be potentially neat, but I don't think we're, I don't think any of that stuff's gonna fire. Because we're just gonna do this, which super kills you. Then you're gonna play the moon and then we're just gonna kick the shit out of this moon. This ought to work again. It didn't work last time. What are you talking about? I'm not afraid of the moon. Oh, he mean, he just meant making the moon card. I'm not afraid of the moon. Uh, I don't know, give me another squirrel or whatever. So, did I read this sigil? A card bearing this sigil will pulse small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Oh, interesting. Well, for right now, I don't think I want to do anything. I think I want to just, like, right? Let's just let this happen. I'm going to try to cut up the... Ah, When I have any that are cuttable. Okay. I'm not allowed to cut up the moon. Because we're actually doing damage quite quickly here. I'm just going to take two squirrels because I don't want to look through my deck again for, <laughs> for uh, the sake of speed. Yeah, you're just dead, friend. Uh, and then I'm going to play... I should have just played Stinkbug. <laughs> I don't know. I want to play... Uh, where's my wolf? I want an item. No, I want to play you. Two. Uh, cockroach, you're not actually good. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I think it does work the way it looked like it worked. And out of curiosity, does this work? The way yeah, it sure does. <laughs> well, that's fun.
You're not the first to triumph over the moon. But go on. Finish it. Oh no, I ran out of squirrels. Hmm, its power did not go up, so... That must not do what I thought it did. Uh, yep. A significant number of teeth, as ever. That was a very toothsome run. You had won the respect of the strange cabin's inhabitant. Your body quaked as the adrenaline of the battle subsided. Leaving you with a gnawing hunger, you had not eaten for days. Is it not so? Woo! Surely this food's something. I took extra care in preparing it. Sorry, I was trying to click on the candle and I clicked past that first line. I want, I want to blow out the candle. I want to do anything. Really? This does not meet your standards? I pressed S there. So, yeah, that's very well. I just wanted to see if I could look around. Stand there. Okay. Now I have I have film. Put put film in thing. Who gave you that? Oh, what's up now, nerd? Okay, that's a big pile of corpses. That is <laughs> that is the start a new game symbol. Hold on. What is what is this? I would like to look down cuz that looks like the person that looks like our friend Leshy. Ooh, also, that's weird. Hmm. Okay. I don't love the amount that this is clearly Leshy's body back here. Can I open this from this side? Nope. All I'm allowed to do is new game. Well, I guess that's also like a, a safe that I would like to interact with. All right. Huh. Can I tell you? Not really what I was expecting. So now it's just dark in here and I can't open the door still. I can't, I kind of can't interact with anything, actually. Well, we unlocked the ability to do a new game, so maybe I want to go back to the start screen and... I don't know what this is. Is this the total number of cards we've unlocked or something? I've not been paying very much attention to this when we've opened the menu in the past. Maybe that's a mistake. I'm going to go back to the start screen. Okay. All right. Well, I think this is where we're going to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Progress. We're making progress. At this point, I feel like I'm pretty good at that card game. <laughs> so this would be a good time for whatever the next thing is to open up. And maybe that is, in fact, what will be happening here. Provided that there is, in fact, a next thing. I'm making a lot of assumptions here just based on the developer. That when we press new game, it's going to be something different and weird. Maybe that's unfair. I don't know. Come back next time to find out and we'll see you then.